So, do you want to become a millionaire? Well, that's good, because in today's video, I'll share the exact steps you need to take in order to reach that goal. Coming up. So, this is just one way of becoming a millionaire. And it's probably not gonna fit everyone, but I think it's certainly the most straightforward way and the way that's gonna fit the most amount of people and help them achieve that goal. Let's get on with tip number one. So the first tip of the day is to understand that you are in this for the long run. In today's society, when everyone expects instant gratification on the click of a button in a second or maybe even less for pretty much everything, it's super important to understand that when it comes to becoming a millionaire guaranteed, you have to be in it for the long run because this is nothing that will happen overnight. And that takes us to tip number two. So when I say the long run, I mean years long run. This is never gonna take days, weeks or months. This is always gonna be a question of years. So tip number two is setting an age goal. So in my world, becoming financially independent is something I wanna achieve by the age I'm 55. So 55 year old Victor wants to have the opportunity to not work a single day in the rest of my life going forward from 55. With that, onwards to tip number three. Tip number three is pretty simple. We pretty much just need to calculate how much we need to be saving in order to reach that goal of becoming a millionaire by 55, if that's the age goal that you set out for yourself. We do that calculation by firstly defining how much money do we want by the age of 55. So we have the horizon. By the time I'm 55 years old, I want to be a millionaire. So that means having one million dollars. That's the lowest amount of millionaire you can have. If you have one million dollars, then you are a millionaire. Now, having that number set, we only need to reverse engineer that number in order to understand how much we need to save per year and more specifically per month. So there are a number of different websites online where you can just punch in numbers of what your savings goal is, what the time frame is, what the interest rate is of the money you're saving. That would automatically calculate how much you need to be saving per month. So breaking my goal down of having $1 million by the age of 55, which is in 25 years, I need to be saving about $750 per month, growing annually by about 8%. Also taking into account that I would be saving about 5% more each year than I did the previous year, because I'd probably be making more money as I progress in my career. Following those exact steps is going to net me $1 million by the time I'm 55. Let's get on with the video. So before we kick things off with tip number four, I just wanted to quickly shout out someone who commented a video in the recent week. And that guy is Jonas Eriksson. Thank you so much, Jonas, for leaving a comment on one of my videos. I really appreciate it. It helps enable the video to get seen by more people so that we together can help more people achieve and live a better life. Jonas wrote in his comment that he would like to see some tips and thoughts from my end on investing in the stock market and that's probably the most requested video we've had so far so don't fear guys that video will be coming out thank you so much for asking Jonas and uh, yeah on with today's video so tip number four is actually a tip around what to do with the money you're saving should you be keeping them inside of your mattress? Should you have them on a bank account? Should you be investing in the stock market or maybe buying funds? Should you buy real estate? There are a bunch of different questions on what you should be doing with your money. And obviously, the better you are at investing your money long term and short term, the more money you'll have at the end of the day. However, it's also important to see this long term as we discussed in the beginning of today's video which means that you need to be saving money in an as safe way as possible in order to not lose a lot of money long term. And one of the easiest ways of getting a high payout yearly of about 8 to 9%, at least across the last 100 plus years, is investing in the stock market. 
and not specifically picking stocks that you think are good. Don't worry, you don't have to do any of that magic. All you need to do is invest in what's called index funds. Index funds are funds that just follow the index. They follow the average way and the average trend of the entire market. So index across the past plus 100 years has on average yielded 8 to 9% in payout in growth every single year. So the calculation we did before of achieving $1 million by 55, that was made based on us investing all of the saved money towards index funds. Obviously the stock market has ups and downs. So depending on when you want to be exiting the market, you need to be exiting on a high note and not after a financial crash. There are also other ways of saving. You could be saving in your mattress, in which case you would be surely losing money because of inflation. Or you could be saving on a bank account, generating one, maybe 2% interest. But that would pretty much also mean you're not making any money of the money you already saved. And the most powerful way of making money is what we call the interest on interest effect. So having money that yields interest and then next year having your money plus your interest now generating interest. That's the interest on interest effect. And that's gonna have you on the long term make a lot of money. Let's do an example. So the 750-ish dollars that I would be saving every month for 25 years, that will net me $1 million. Calculating on having the 8% payoff, etc, etc. If I only saved that money with no interest, across 25 years, that would only net me about $210,000. That's insane how much extra money the interest on interest effect generates across a long period of time. Now onwards to tip number five. So tip number five is a very short step. This is where most people fail. And when it comes to investing into the stock market, again, I just have to reiterate this. It's not about trying to pick winning or losing stocks. It's not about trying to foresee the future and guess what's gonna happen, especially since none of us really know how to predict the future. This is about just investing the same amount of money every month for 25 years in my case, or whatever time frame you have set out for. We're not even gonna try picking out stocks like Fingerprint or African Oil or Apple this or Amazon that. We will just focus on being consistent, setting up the same amount of money every month for the entire time frame, growing it by let's say 5% every year to always make sure we're setting up as much money as we can. Now let's get on with tip number six, the final tip of today. So you might be sitting wondering now, all right, I know I have to save a certain amount of money for a certain amount of years. I went into this website and calculated how much I need to save with a certain amount of interest coming back to me yearly, how much I need to grow that number by. But that's way more money than I can actually afford to be saving monthly where I am right now. What should I be doing? So that's a super good question. And that brings us to point number six, the final point of this video, which is that if you calculated a really high monthly number, there is only one way of reaching that number. You need to increase your salary. And by increasing your salary, you can save more money. Either that be by working harder, by getting another job, by working extra, by getting a side hustle, or by getting promoted or a pay raise. I have two specific videos that I released not too long ago, one on negotiating salary, negotiating benefits, negotiating sign-on bonuses, etc., which would surely enable you to save more money. It's also covering how you negotiate salary if you change to a new employer. I also released a video not too long ago about how you would go about getting a job at a company like Apple, Adobe, or pretty much any other major American corporation that pays the really good salaries that would enable you to save pretty much whatever you want on a monthly basis. So don't forget to check those two videos out if you're unsure of how to increase your salary. So that's it for today's video guys. Anyone can become a millionaire if you just decide to play the long game and do it. It's not really that complicated or hard. 
So I really hope you learned something out of this video. If you did, don't forget to like it. Especially don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification thing so you will get notified when I release new videos. We do content weekly on this channel. Again guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Victor, signing out.